क्यू लर्निंग सो क्यू लर्निंग इट इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन अ रेनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग सो इट कैरीज टेन मार्क्स एंड इट इज अ कन्फर्म टॉपिक सो डोंट स्किप दिस टॉपिक सो क्यू लर्निंग एज अ नेम इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट्स इट इज अ मॉडल फ्री लर्निंग सो अंडरस्टैंड क्यू लर्निंग इट इज नथिंग बट अ क्वालिटी लर्निंग द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ क्यू इट इज नथिंग बट अ क्वालिटी लर्निंग क्यू लर्निंग इज अ मॉडल फ्री लर्निंग रेनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग एलगरिदम where there is no model of an environment in order to learn a policy the main agenda here is to learn the control policy and telling an agent what action to be done under what circumstances so the main agenda here is to learn the control policy perform the action by an agent and get the reward and finding out the best reward which is called as an optimal policy so the action will handle problems with changes in an environment and rewards without any external adaptations so there is no external changes that is to be made since there is no model here so however the environment is present as per the changes in the environment the regards are being considered so q learning finds an optimal policy what is an optimal policy finding the maximum value of the reward that is called as an optimal policy so that is maximizing the expected value of the total reward over any and all successive step that is starting from the current state is known as q learning understand so q learning the main agenda here is to find out the Mag- optimal policy that is nothing but the maximum value of the reward starting from the current state and the process will be repeated or iterated until you reach the goal g or it is also called as absorbing state which is explained in the previous video of a learning task so you can go through that now so q learning here it uses an finite mdp finite mdp it is nothing but a markov decision process markov decision process it is a, it provides a mathematical framework or mathematical relations which gives an output uh, randomly and some of the outputs it is in the control of a trainer so the q learning here it stands for an a quality of an action taken in a given state so q here it stands for quality now as i already told the main agenda here is to learn the optimal policy so optimal policy it is nothing but finding the maximum value of the reward so optimum policy it is given by star pi of star s belonging to a if i just write without the star that is pi pi it is nothing but a target function s is nothing but a state and a is an action if i write without writing a star then it becomes a control policy now if i write it as a star that is nothing but finding a maximum value of the reward that is called as an optimal policy here in order to find out the optimal policy in a reinforcement learning only the training information is available to learner but whereas if you consider another machine learning algorithm that is whether in a supervised or in an unsupervised learning the training examples would have been given and it would be represented in the form of an ordered pair that is output is represented in the form of an ordered pair as s comma a where s is nothing but a state and a is nothing but the action but whereas here instead the only the training information it is made available to the learner in the form of a sequence of immediate rewards that is r of r of si comma ai where r indicates the reward and i here it indicates the number of states and s indicates the state and a indicates the action so when training when the training information it is given we have to perform the numerical computations over or uh, numerical evaluations over the state and an action and then implement an optimal policy in terms of this evaluation function so this is called as an evaluation function and it is given by a formula pi star of s star indicates it is an optimal policy finding the maximum value of this part that is argument maximum of a it is nothing but finding a maximum value of the action taken r of s comma a it is known as an immediate reward plus gamma it is a discount factor 
v star of delta of s comma a delta of s comma a we know that a successor state or the future state or the second state whereas this is a immediate reward or the current reward and this is the future or the successor state now we know that this del of s comma we know that this del of s comma a it denotes the result uh, it denotes the state resulting from applying action a to state s thus the agent can acquire an optimal policy the agent can acquire an optimal policy by learning a v star provided it must have a perfect knowledge of the immediate reward function r and the straight transition function that is r delta so the transition function delta also it must be known thoroughly and the reward also must be known thoroughly to an agent if it is utilizing this formula as an evaluation function when the agent know the function of uh see understand when the agent knows the function that is an reward function r and also the transition function delta used by an environment to respond to its action then it can easily utilize this equation so in order to utilize this the agent it must have a pakka knowledge of this reward that is a current state reward and a delta which is nothing but a state transition and then calculate the optimal action for any state s so thus when we calculate the optimal policy then it becomes uh, it becomes easy in order to perform the prediction based upon the evaluation function now what is this evaluation function and how it can be utilized in q learning we are going to see in the next topic that is q function how this evaluation function it is been utilized in a q learning it is going to see in the next topic that is q function so as a whole if i say what is meant by a q learning is a q learning is a model free learning algorithm reinforcement learning algorithm where the main agenda here is to learn the control policy and find out the maximum value of the reward which is called as an optimal policy now how to find out the maximum value of the reward it is by using an evaluation function this is the evaluation function where r is known as an immediate reward or the current state and delta is known as an immediate successor state or the next state when we have a next state when the uh, agent moves from one state to other or when there is a state transition or you say that when it moves from s to s dash or if i consider this q learning when it moves from one box to other box so that is known as state transition that is nothing but our delta so this is about q learning now let's see the next topic that is q function where i am going to explain how this evaluation function it has been utilized in q learning